The following video we're going to take a look at the overview of the gradebook assignments, assignment groups, and weights, and then in subsequent videos we'll take a look at how to set this up accordingly. So my goal eventually is to create a gradebook that reflects uh, a gradebook that shows by percentages, including a section of the gradebook that's called non-graded assignments. I'm going to go ahead back into my Canvas course. Um, and I want to just take a brief look at the grades uh, in my current course because I've already uh, sent one assignment. What I haven't done though, however, is I haven't created any weights uh, for my uh, gradebook. In other words, every assignment will be treated uh, with the exact same weight, so I will eventually need to get to the point of setting up my gradebook accordingly. To do so, I'm going to go back into the uh, assignment section of Canvas and I'm going to start setting up groups. You can see that I've already set up uh, four of my groups, uh, five of my groups, and I'm going to add one more group called quizzes. Um, once I do so, I will have all five, uh, all six of my groups uh, available, including this non-graded assignments group. Eventually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start setting up the weights for my group. So if you'll notice here under the uh, sprocket menu, uh, I'm going to weight the final grade just based on the uh, following assignments. And if you recall, uh, those assignments were as follows. Class works and labs was 20%. Uh, homework was 10%. Non-grader assignments was 0%. Projects and major assessments were worth 20%. And quizzes, I'm sorry, major assessments were worth 30%. And quizzes were worth 20%, bringing me to a total of 100%. When I go ahead and click Save, you'll notice now that on the right-hand side of my gradebook, I can see the percentages that will be applied to all of my grading periods. I can change this in individual grading periods, but for now, I've applied this to all my grading periods. And we'll take a quick back look back now at the uh, gradebook. That assignment will show up, and now when I go ahead and give it a grade, let's say uh, 8 out of 10 and update the grade, um, the student will be informed of their grade, and in the gradebook, it will reflect uh, accordingly as I start to build out different sections of my gradebook. Now, when I uh, switch my view from the teacher view, right now I'm lo lo uh, logged in as a teacher, to the student view, you can see now that I'm logged in as a student. When the student selects uh, the grades, what they'll see is they'll see that recently graded assignment um, under homework for 8 out of 10. They'll see on the right hand side the grouping for the class and they'll see my current um, total uh, as well and they can switch uh, their grades uh, to any course. Um, when they want to get uh, more information on the particular most recently grade they simply select on the grade and um, any information that has been provided uh, will show up in terms of teacher comments. So this is a brief overview of how the gradebook uh, relates to the assignments feature in Canvas and the view that students might have.